All right. Happy 4th of July. I'm actually listening to Yard Bra right now while I'm filming this. Anyway, this is my newest modified Chapin 12 gal sprayer. I'll just tell you all the features, I guess. I got a, uh, a little rocker switch here for lights for a 7 8 um, 7 8 inch diameter bar, like for an ATV. And then I just, um, I just sanded it a little bit or filed it so that I could get on there. But I like it. If you look at it, it's got, it rocks this way, not this way. So when you're holding it like this, it's real easy just to go, Mah. it's awesome. Anyway, I got rid of that stupid switch here. I had problems with the spade connectors popping on all the time. So if something ever happens to this, I can just take that off and swap it. I even made a jumper for this. So if this fails, which it might because the wires are teeny tiny, I can just put a jumper in here from one side to the other. Um, this is a Fimco um, 4.5 gallon per hour, 12 volt pump. I got this thing on Amazon, um, the battery also got on Amazon. I've got a um, inline fuse from the battery to the pump. There's also a fuse right at the pump. I didn't put an inline fuse here, but this is where I charge it. I charge it with my kid's um, four-wheeler, like his 12-volt four-wheeler that he's got. This is the manifold that I created. This, if you can see back there, that is a Union. This is a T-Jet diverter valve or something. So you can turn this thing and it'll increase or decrease the pressure on the spring, which will increase or decrease your pressure in the whole system. Um, I, so when you do this, at least how I like to do it, I'm just an amateur, but I like to put it together like, a test run and then I mark where the joints need to be so that when I put it together because I actually cemented those together and it cements really quick so you gotta you gotta hustle and you need to know like exactly where you want all the pieces to go but anyway I wanted to have three um, jets this time or nozzles whatever you call it I had two last time in my 3-8 setup so I just did off of here, I did a Y to a T fitting to um, those two ball valves and then another ball valve so that I can independently control all three of them. Because there's times where, you know, I'm spraying up next to my house and my path will go right here, but then I need to get this little grass strip. Well, I don't need all three to be running at the same time. I just need one. So I shut these two off, let that one run and get it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, another one of these for the the wand sprayer. This I did yesterday. Now, it may look flimsy, but it's actually way more sturdy than it was the day before. If you just have that mount, there's so much weight on this thing, it's, yeah. So what I did, <clears throat> I got a turnbuckle from Menards and a giant well nut, um, that's 3 8 I used a 3 8 socket head, and then I just used two uh, one and a quarter inch fender washers so that this um, eyelet didn't pop off of that. So it's all kind of sandwiched in there. Now, if you've ever used, a, if you've never used a turnbuckle, one side, this side is normal thread. This side is like, reverse thread. I don't remember if it's left or right, but it's it's the opposite of a normal one. So that when you tighten like this, it actually loosens both sides. When you go this way, it tightens on there and it tightens there. So it cinches it up. Okay. So why I did that is because my <clears throat> left nozzle here, that nozzle was higher and this one because of all this weight for all the pieces and stuff over here. 
So I, I had it over here onto the right side of this mount, but then there's so much weight over there, I actually moved it so that that's over there, kind of evened it out. But now what I can do is I can tighten or loosen these independently of each other and it'll end up, you know, if I tighten this one, and loosen this one, it'll end up going like this and it brings that end down, that end up. So I have almost exactly 21 inches off the ground right to the middle of the red part of the T-Jet. So it's like perfect. Um, what are some of the things that I've noticed that I dislike about this? Oh yeah, this. So I would probably put this down here more because I think maybe at a better, a steeper angle, it has more control. I don't know if that's right or not. Um, I highly recommend getting this drain. I just got it off Amazon. It's very smart to have a drain. I've I've had my the previous Chapin pump die on me several times with a tank full of solution, and I there's like no how am I gonna <laughs> spray it all out? So I just use that thing, open it up, fill up a half gallon jug, and dump it one half gallon at a time into my four gallon backpack sprayer. So get one of those. It's great. Um, I use well nuts here and for there. So you actually drill straight through the tank. You put this little rubber nut in there. And then as you tighten down the bolt, it pulls the rubber nut to make it seal with the tank. So if you look down here, you see how that rubber nut is actually like sucked in. These over here, didn't move that much, but you can see that they kind of like swelled up. Um, so that's how it stops from leaking. And I had this tank filled, there we go. I had my tank filled up to here for the last 12 hours, let it sit in the garage, and I have had no leaks. So that's awesome. Um, having an inline filter is definitely important. I really like this one. It's just a half inch barb to half inch barb. Um, I might, I'll probably post all of the parts and where to get them on the Lawn Forum TLF. Um, one more thing on the very bottom here. I would not do this unless, um, sorry, before I had the uh before i had the supports i would not lay it down like that because it, it would probably mess up the boom anyway down here this it's really nice they have a three quarter inch um garden hose thread ghp i think um or sorry fhp no mhp male hose thread um nipple right on the bottom of this tank so when you take that fitting off it actually has a rubber gasket in there just like your garden hose does so it goes from three-quarter garden hose to half inch female pipe thread and then i just used this um stainless steel half inch pipe thread to half inch hose barb thing that i got off amazon as well and this was like the easiest install um, when you get a pump that's this big you have to, um, you have to use half inch, because otherwise it can't suck enough. Um, so there's that. This battery is just held in there just by gravity. Um, you can actually take that off and just pull it right out. You don't have to take any of the hardware or anything else off. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know. I think that's about it.